Hello and welcome. I'm Riversoft Art, and I'm here today to talk to you about an update coming for my Bone Minion products. This update should be out by the end of July 2022, and I'm really excited because this uh, addresses some limitations of Bone Minion. So I recommend you watch the Bone Minion video to find out what it is, but just briefly, Bone Minion is this really revolutionary new way of just using poses from different generations for uh, other generations. Instead of converting them and saving presets, you can just select your Genesis 3, add a Bone Minion, and automatically apply Genesis 2 poses, for example, and they will convert on the fly to Genesis 3. So uh, I'm to here today to talk about the update. So briefly, you know, I have Genesis 3 in here and Genesis 8 female. And, you know, I would normal operation, I select Genesis 3 and I want to apply the uh, Genesis 8 female poses. This is for an upcoming product that's not out yet, obviously. So you would select the bone minion, you would then get your poses, and let's wait, and then you just apply them, and it, it converts it on the fly. And um, you know, just to show you, here's the Genesis 8 female, and it's the same thing. Um, We'll do a different pose. And there you go. Just poses on the fly without a problem. Um, so the update, what does it give you? Well, one of the first things it gives you is it removes the limitation that only one bone minion attached to a figure can do automatic conversions at a time. So if I select my Genesis 3 female, and I add a Victoria 4 Bone Minion. They both show up here. And the idea is that you can just select your Bone Minion, apply a pose, it converts it, apply a different pose, go back to the Genesis 8 Female Bone Minion, and apply other poses. And they all automatically, as long as the hip bone of the bone minion gets changed by the pose, it will automatically transfer it over. Now you can disable this feature now. So we have a property of the bone minion, automatic pose transfer, which by default is on. And if we turn that off and double click it, it you can see the bone minion right here. It's in the pose, but it didn't automatically transfer. What you would have to do at that point is do the apply changes. Um, uh, script, and then it, it applies it over. So that's um, a couple of the features that all of the bone minions on a figure are in automatic pose uh, mode, pose transfer mode, and that you can turn it on and off. Now the important update, and let's just get them all back to their default poses. Well, actually, I don't like it over there. So uh, let's do that. Well, I'll move it over to negative 60. Now the important one is that bone minions are designed to be very lightweight and fast. So when you load one of these bone minions, it's loading just the bones and the rigging for the different types. Uh, there is nothing else on that bone minion. There's no morphs or anything else. And that's great and it works for how Daz uh, recommends poses uh, saved, but there is a case that trips you up. 
some Bo, um, some Poe's uh, um, published artists or, or just yourself may save poses that use pose properties. So you see this a lot, like you select the hand and you do the grasp. And if you saved the pose with just sa uh, saving that and not saving the bones, uh, this does not actually trigger on a, uh, a um, it doesn't trigger, a, a, it doesn't change anything on a bone minion. Uh, another example beyond these are like kind of the built-in ones is if you have a uh, pose architect and let me find the pose here uh, and you happen to save you know po pose architect just uh, you know that has a bunch of different um, uh, new pose properties that that help balance your pose as you change stuff so let me try and find them and of course they're so there we go 3 to you so you know arm overhead it dials the arm that one's not as interesting as the one like a hip crouch so it you know does a lot for this hip crouch you know it's changing the hip it's changing the, uh, i think some of the abdomen to and the legs all to keep it in balance and if you save this pose uh so this is one that's saved like that so for genesis 8 and if you look at the currently used there's a few there's a right arm over the head there's a left arm over the hip there's a um, neck roll a leg in and out and i also did uh right fingers fist now if you assign or you try and assign this pose preset to the standard bone minion nothing happens because it's not actually changing any of the bones so what we need for this and what i've added in 1.1 is the ability to create a heavyweight bone minion basically this is cr going to create uh you know you execute this and you have your choice of which bone minions you want to create and we're going to select eight dot uh, Genesis eight female you say okay accept and what it's doing is loading in a generic Genesis eight female and preparing it for to be a bone minion it gets rid of the material uh, maps on the surfaces because we don't need them um, you know in a bone minion so if I select this and I believe it's the visible property uh, visible in viewport yeah you can see it's just a, you know a standard Genesis 8 female without the maps and also some other things it's you know attaching the script etc so let's hide that so it won't render or anything else and in all other respects it acts like a bone minion a uh, regular bone minion but it's heavier because you know this is it has all of those properties we're interested in so the 3du properties are on this bone minion so now when we apply a pose that uses those uh, different properties and um, that's back up here so if we apply this pose to this bone minion it transfers it over so now bone minion in 1.1 will support pose properties as well so that's this is a brief video about the new features coming in bone minion 1.1 uh, the already released bone minion for genesis 4 a uh, generation 4 poses the just announced and may probably released by the time you hear this Bone Minion for Genesis poses, and the just submitted Bone Minion for Genesis 2 poses. And then it will be for the other products that I'm currently working on. Uh, th thank you very much. Uh, thank you for your support of Bone Minion. I hope you like this update, and have a great day.